Well, realizing we're now in the Me Too era, former Vice President Joe Biden says he understands why his touchy-feely persona is no longer acceptable. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with a look at Biden's comments now that more women have come forward. Dave. Yeah, and Juan, this video was meant to put out the political fire as mm -hmm. well. You know, in some respects, yep. even more important. Four women has, as of tonight, have raised complaints about Joe Biden's behavior. And while Biden did not exactly apologize in this new video he put out on Wednesday, he did say he gets it and his touchy behavior will change starting right now. With four women now complaining that he touched them inappropriately, former Vice President Joe Biden said on Wednesday that it's time for a change, promising to better manage his touchy-feely side and keep his distance. You know, social norms have begun to change, they've shifted, and the boundaries of protecting personal space have been reset. And I get it. I get it. I hear what they're saying. I understand it. And I'll be much more mindful. That's my responsibility. My responsibility, and I'll meet it. Biden acknowledged that he has caused discomfort for some, but he did not apologize to his accusers and defended his personal interactions. Scores, if not hundreds of people have come up to me and reached out for solace and comfort, something, something, anything that may help them get through the tragedy they're going through. And, and, uh, and, and so I, it's just, just who, who I am. Biden's comments come five days after Lucy Flores, a former Nevada assemblywoman, described an incident at a 2014 campaign event where she says Biden approached her from behind, put his hands on her shoulders, smelled her hair, and kissed her head. I really need him to acknowledge that that behavior was inappropriate. But Biden has not done that. And three days later, three more women have described similar interactions with Biden, who has not been accused of sexual assault or pressure. I hear what they're saying. I understand it. And I'll be much more mindful. That's my responsibility. My responsibility, and I'll meet it. Biden isn't expected to officially jump into the 2020 presidential race until later this month. But he sure gave a strong sign when he began his video that he will be running. In the coming month, I expect to be talking to you about a whole lot of issues, and I'll always be direct with you. President Trump is wasting no time in mocking Biden like this on Tuesday night. I said, General, come here, give me a kiss. <laughs> I felt like Joe Biden. <laughs> But I meant it. Biden's fellow Democrats, who are already running in the presidential race, have been getting plenty of questions about Biden's behavior. I think we need to listen to those who, who are raising their stories, who have the courage to come forward, um, to, to share their experience. If we spend all our time talking about what men have done, we're never going to be able to see what women can do. In fact, elected officials from both sides of the aisle are jumping into the Biden controversy. It isn't what you intended, it's how it was received. This is no country for creepy old men. And, and it needs to stop. The New York Times investigative reporter who broke the sexual abuse allegations against movie producer Harvey Weinstein says distinctions need to be drawn between his alleged sexual behavior and Biden's uncomfortable touching, saying this about Biden's behavior. A lot of these moments occurred in public, they occurred at events, they occurred in front of other people. It's a totally different scenario than somebody like Harvey Weinstein, who is accused of drawing women into secluded places so that he could take advantage of them. Now, we mentioned in the report that Biden left little doubt he will ultimately enter the presidential race. And perhaps with that in mind, Biden's team worked to minimize the damage from this episode, releasing quotes from female friends and former colleagues who say they never saw Biden cross the line of acceptable behavior. All right, Dave.